260, shredding in the city. Bad little bitch like okay, okay. When they see the key like AD, AD. Bad little bitch like okay, okay. Put it to the floor like no I know it, I know it, I know it. Bad little bitch like okay, okay. When they see the key like AD, AD. Bad little bitch like okay, okay. Put it to the floor like no I know it, I know it, I know it. Business is business, I walk with it on me I heard that you want it, so nigga can get it Too many homies that's dead or in jail You ain't catching me slipping, I stay on my pivot So many niggas that talk looking on me But when I come around, they always on cricket Yo, what is up, vlog? It's your boy, Rob And today's episode of Navi Vlogs We're gonna be freshening up the RM85 I just went to the Honda shop, uh, Cycle Center And I just grabbed a whole bunch of goodies I got some good two-stroke mix because I've been using some booty cheeks lately. I got that Motul 800, you know what I'm saying? Let's see, I got one thing of quart, or yeah, what is it? No, it's a pint. I was going to say a quart. I got two pints of fork oil, one for each fork. I got some good old fork lube, fork lube, chain lube. I got a vent hose and I got some training oil. So, mix, training oil, chain lube, oil for the forks. And then also we got some grips and I got spoke skins to match the grips, but they're in the garage right now. And if you guys haven't seen my garage, boom, boom, boom. It is horrendous, but I'm still going to be vlogging. I don't care what you guys think about my garage right now. Okay, guys, so we got the uh, tube off. I'm about to go grab the new one and the new grip. Um, you know, guys, I was wondering, you know, what would look cool with this. Maybe a rock star kit, uh, my homie. Uh, my homie and tattoo artist, he told me, um, put a militia kit on it, which that was dope as well, too, because, you know, militia kits are always dope. The militia's dope, so, um, I was thinking about doing that, but for right now, guys, I'm just gonna go with the, um, you know, factory Suzuki blue and yellow, so that's just gonna be for a little bit, just for a little bit, um, and then once I actually know what I want to do with the bike, right now it's just getting a fresh... It's just getting freshened up, but once I know what I really want to do with the bike, then I'll plan that out in the future. Cause I will have this for a while. I'm not gonna get rid of it like I did with the um with the Groms. So this one is right now gonna be blue and yellow. So instead of the black right here, probably gonna get blue. You know, keep the yellow, put the blue with the blue strips. So let's go get this other tube. So guys, she told me. The lady at the Honda shop, she told me these are for two stroke, as you can see, it says it. And you got the four stroke up here. But the two stroke comes with so many different options. So, I guess I'm just gonna cycle through it until I find which one, you know. Um, but, like I told you guys, I'm going with the Suzuki blue and yellow. So, we're going to uh, cycle through these, see which one, and then throw the tube and the new grip on so let's get to that all right guys so we're gonna relocate right puppy come here come say what's up to the people you camera shy i don't know so we're gonna relocate we're gonna go grab the bike i just put it in the yard are you gonna grab it for me you gonna grab it for me puppy Come on, let's go put the bike in the in the basement. Alright, so Oh, oh, okay. Alright. Alright, alright. Alright guys, so we relocated the bike to my mom's beautiful basement. But I clarified it with her that it's only gonna be here for a couple hours. No thanks for him. 
thought he was going to help me, but all he wanted to do was just bark. So, let's get this up on the stand. Alright, bike is up on the stand. It's going to be easier to work with now, way easier. You guys want to do something funny? Okay guys, so it was a little bit of a struggle, but not too bad. Um, I'm not going to play with it just yet because we don't have the bottom piece on, but I just want to say like, I know that there's good grip glue out there, but what the hell do they have on here? Like, like I'm going to need some like, goo off for that. I don't know, but as you guys can see, I got the spokeskins to match with the grips, and usually, if you guys know me well by now, I go with Pro Taper, all Pro Taper, Pro Taper bars, Pro Taper grips, anything I can get that's Pro Taper, I get it. Let me pick this up. Ugh. But they had this at the Honda shop. I seen it. I wasn't gonna get it uh, originally. Like I wasn't planning on going in there and getting grips. So I went and got some grips. I seen them. I had to get them. So let me get the bottom piece on and check back with you guys so guys the grips were a total bust um, I thought that these were gonna be the right ones but they're not and it's not like I could just put the grips on the old tube because these are so glued on that I can't even cut them with a razor so I'm gonna put back on the old one I'm gonna work on the spoke skins change the oil and uh eat this french fry first of all and um if i'm able to get some stuff done in a good time matter probably go riding for a little bit we got the light on the camera today if you guys didn't notice so gonna do some night riding probably so let's get into the spokes guys all right guys so with the help of a little bit of soap Got the throttle uh, grip back on. I'm not too happy, but I do want to get out and ride for a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and do what has to be done now. Alright guys, so we're out in the freezing cold. I'm breathing heavy because I had to get this out of my house.
it. He just uh, gave me word. He just rebuilding his bike, so he just gave me word that the gaskets are coming in. pizza um just got back my apologies if the microphone and light are gone i just charged my camera it uh died on me while i was riding so that explains why we went from riding to being at my house so i think the way i'm gonna end this vlog off is that we're gonna start doing the spoke skins so I'm gonna bring the bike in. We go do the spoke skins. And that is how we're gonna cap this off. Alright, guys, so we got the media mod hooked back up to the GoPro. And we're going to start removing the, uh, the skins from the front rim. See, I don't think I did a video on me doing the spoke skins for the pit bike, so this is gonna be a this is gonna be a little hard. I just want to show you guys something. This is very convenient. I don't know if it could focus. I don't know how that happened, but it works like a little hook. So that is very convenient. Anyway, we got this side off. We got the left side, I mean, left. We got the right side off. And um, now we're going to start on the left side. All right, guys, you see it. Skins everywhere, skins everywhere. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> she gonna kill me. No, I'm just playing. That's that's not that bad. I'll I'll clean that up. You hear that? I'll clean it up. No, let me stop messing with it. Um so now what we gotta do is we're going to get the blue ones and actually um you know, when you order spokeskins on Amazon, I noticed 
they all come in one size. The ones that I got from Cycle Center, they actually come with large ones and small ones. So that's what we're going to be working with is the large ones. Um, so, man, there's a lot of crowd on these spokes. Um, let's get to those large ones real quick. Damn guys, the bike is looking pretty good. Just one run done. Gonna do another one tomorrow. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, we're gonna go for the blue and yellow theme. Instead of the black, I wanna get blue done. You know what I'm saying? Um, get some blue and yellow Suzuki graphics. Blue grips, of course, that's what we were trying to do today, but that didn't happen. Um, yeah, guys, yeah, she's looking pretty good. And we were able to do the vent hose, um, you know, which stays on pretty good. I mean, I just pulled it off, but other than that, without force, it stays on pretty good. <laughs> but if you guys are wondering why I'm trying to get the bike all nice and shined up and looking good is because um this saturday actually i'm doing a photo shoot with my boy uh my boy taekwon i'm gonna drop his ig right here um take some pretty pretty crazy flicks guys i'm not going to lie like check out his instagram if you guys are from the uh the area you know what i'm saying if you're from philly if you're from uh, Delaware County, Delaware, New Jersey, you know what I'm saying, somewhere close, hit my guy up, bro, because those pics, I'm telling you, check out his page, it says it, every, everything says it for itself, you know what I'm saying, so I told him, once I get a new bike, I need you to shoot me, bro, I really need you to take some flicks with me on the bike, you know what I'm saying, so that's gonna happen this Saturday, like I said, I hope y'all check him out as well, because He's killing it, for real. But guys, that is the vlog for tonight. I'm tired as hell. We're gonna pick up tomorrow on it and do a part two of this video. And yeah, so catch you guys tomorrow. It's your boy Rob, peace.